Hi everybody, Joyce here from my craft room. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying this great volume event. Um, we sure do look forward to seeing you at Mega Meet in a, not that many weeks, so yay. Um, wanted to share with you some tips for adding a little extra sort of wow to your holiday cards. Um, this may all be old news to some of you, but I know some of you are relatively new at card making, so I hope this helps you. So um, before I go any further, let me just remind you that there is a coupon code for mycraftroom.com. The code is MEGA15. It is good for 15% off everything on the site except for kits, classes, and heat laminators. So I hope you take advantage of it. Um, so let's get started. Anytime today. Okay. You'd think I'd have this figured out by now, wouldn't you? All right. So, the things I have to show you today are really uh, not that complicated, um, certainly not difficult, um, but can make a big difference on your cards. So, without further ado, this is a pretty simple, this is a Tim Holtz um, die, nice background die with snowflakes. It is called Arctic, and I could have just put it on a piece of white cardstock and it looked very pretty with all the white snowflakes behind it. But instead, I chose to put it on top of a piece of our pearl mirror lava paper, and that is this, and it looks like satin. Isn't it pretty? Um, the other cool thing about this die is that when you cut it out and you pop out all the bits, you have oodles of snowflakes and stars that you can use on a million other cards. So keep that in mind. It's definitely a twofer. Probably about a fiver, actually. So that's all just, um, don't be afraid of using a little bit better cardstock. Um, to liven up your otherwise pretty simple cards. Now, I'm not making cards here today. I, I don't have sentiments all over everything. I really just wanted to give you some tips. So, um, it, this doesn't look very exciting all by itself, I know, but that paper is truly beautiful. And again, it's called Mira Lava. This is the pearl kind of white color. And there is also a silver that looks like this and a red, which I'm really not a red girl, but oh wow, do I love this. Isn't that pretty? So I wanted to show you a card I did with it. This is one of our paper cuts <laughs> edger cards. And you can see, um, I just, you know, cut the die out of uh, white cardstock but backed it with the mirror lava and it really adds a lot of wow to that card, I think. Another card I did with the mirror lava paper is this one. Now this one's really hard to see because there's kind of a lot of stuff going on here. There is a white glitter paper. Now it's called Diamond. It's our mirror sparkle paper uh, called Diamond. We have it in lots of different colors, but the diamond is the white. So I've used that here and the silver mirror lava paper to actually cut the die cut out of. A little bit of bling and you're good to go. Now this next one's going to be really hard to see, but I'll do my best. This is, maybe if I show you the die that would help. This is a new edger die from paper cuts 
for creative expressions called Bethlehem. And it's a very pretty holiday dye that would be beautiful no matter what you cut it out of. But I cut it out of gold mirror card and it really pops on that dark blue background. And boy, is it hard to show on camera. Okay. Um, this is the gold mirror card, eight and a half by 11. Whoa. <laughs> we have it in gold and we have it in silver. Next up is this pretty little thing. Now this it's just an example of what an impact doing a little background can have on your cards. All I did here was use this photo play stencil. It's just like snow drops and it is called snow. <laughs> Very reasonable, $5.99. And I spread some of Gina K's Glitz Glitter Gel in the iridescent color across my kind of lavender cardstock. And it makes such a pretty soft background, but it just gives it a little bit more interest than if it was just plain. Now the dye Oh, and before I forget, this is another little stencil I, I just picked up. It's from Simple Stories. It's called Snowflakes. And um, that's what the actual stencil looks like. So that would work too. But the snowflakes that I used for the die cuts on here are from this beautiful um, Pink Fresh Studios die set. This is called uh, Layered Snowflakes. It's a little pricey, but you definitely get not only a ton of the snowflakes, but you've got layers. So you've got the background layer, which is the white you see, and then you've got the detailed layer, which I cut out of the lavender. And then the top layer is just one of the smaller snowflakes with um, that was cut from some of our holographic paper. I have a couple of different ones. This is one. And that's what I use to cut out those snowflakes. And this is another. Now, this looks very much like the Mira Lava paper, but it's more holographic. Okay, and needless to say, these days, embossing folders are the thing. I mean, they are spectacularly beautiful. You know, they give such amazing detail. This one's been out for a little while. This is from Sizzix. Um, and it is called Winter Snowflakes. Now, of course, you can just emboss a piece of cardstock. I do recommend anytime you do that, spritz your cardstock at least on one side. If you're using anything glossy, don't spritz the front, just the back, but um, it really does make a difference. Now, I used that white diamond glitter paper. I'm really trying hard to show you this to emboss uh, with that folder. And it is much prettier than I can show you here on camera. But that's one way to use it. Another way is to emboss it on white cardstock. And then I used our uh, Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Polish. And this is the um, powder blue color. This is a new color for us. And there is an applicator in the top looks like this and you're just going to scoop a little out with the applicator and you don't want very much at all just a tiny bit and then you just very lightly go over the high spots not your fingers, um, with the applicator. Very simple, but oh, so pretty. Now, the other thing you can do with this is you can just color white cardstock. 
This is a sample of uh, another card I did with another one of the Edger dies from Paper Cuts. And this is just white cardstock here. And I just went over all of it, whoops, with the, um, with the gilding polish to give it some color and a lot of sheen. So that's another opportunity for using these. They are amazing. I highly recommend them. And again, that is the um, Snowflakes embossing folder from Sizzix. Now, this is just to give you a little idea of what you can do with any of the, you know, like faux snow products. Now, the one I've used is the Nuvo um, Glitter Accents. And it is called Snowfall. I had the best luck literally just squirting it right out of the bottle. I started first with a little paintbrush trying to be, you know, very fancy and paint it on. But I found it works best if you just squirt a little right out and, you know, push it around if you need to. But it looks way more natural that way and is way easy. So give it a try. It goes a long way. It's six ninety nine for a bottle. And um, I really like the effect. A couple of other things I just wanted to show you that can um, add a lot to your cards or tags. This is a really nice little set. In fact, it's what I used on uh, this is where these branches came from. This is a set of thinlets from Tim Holtz, again in Sizzix, called Mini Holiday Greens. And I don't sell a ton of Tim Holtz. I don't carry a ton of it. But some of his foliage is really amazing. I mean, I love his stuff. Don't get me wrong. But this, I thought, for the holidays is great. I mean, it will add so much personality to just about anything you're doing. So that was one option. The other is that this is a great little set of snowflakes. If you know, if the uh, pink fresh set isn't um, your jam, this one is great. This one is called Mini Paper Snowflakes. And again, a ton of snowflakes, a little smaller than the ones in the pink fresh set. Um, and not really with all the layers, but a really nice set that, you know, could go a really long way for you. Just a couple of other things that we do stock. This is the Kuretake, um brush pen in white. It is great for white splatters. So if you want to splatter a snowy background, this is a great pen. If you just want to dot in some snowflakes, we've got the Sakura Jelly Rolls that work terrific. Um, also, if you want to add dress envelopes and they're red or green or something, terrific. We also picked up their metallics. There's gold, silver, and copper in here. And, um, you know, fun, again, for addressing envelopes, signing the insides of your cards, of course. Um, a little just a little extra something and that was kind of the point here today is just to remind you that you know holiday time we're all cranking out a lot of cards um or at least more than usual at least for me and um usually when i do a card it's one and th that's it but holiday time obviously is a different story so um just keep in mind there are some pretty easy ways to add a little extra oomph um, when you're using these uh, fancier papers, I know they're more expensive, but you don't have to make the whole card out of it. You can just attach a piece, you know, four and a quarter by five and a half to your regular standard A2 card. And um, that way you'll get four cards out of every sheet. So anyway, don't forget Mega15, mycraftroom.com. Can't wait to see you at Mega Meet. Um, thanks so much for all your support. Really appreciate it. And I sure look forward.